Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to install and use uh, new version, the latest version of uh, Police Helper mode. Uh, first of all, open zip uh, file with uh, Police Helper. Open your scripts directory, uh, of course in your main GTA or EFLC directory and just select all and copy it, drag and drop, copy it to scripts folder. O overwrite files if you uh, if you need to. I won't uh, I won't do this because uh, because I have the latest version. Okay, uh, and basically it's all. Uh, you have to remember that you need uh, to have uh, LCPDFR and the latest script hook. Uh, be advised that uh, script hook that you get when ins uh, while installing uh, uh, LCPDFR, it's not the latest uh, script hook. You need version 1717, uh, you will get it from HazardX uh, website. You will find the link in the readme files of uh, Police Helper. So uh, install it, it's uh, more stable than previous one and uh, and without it uh, policy helper won't work. Uh, here uh, in scripts folder you will uh, see VDH policy helper directory where you will find uh, skins just rename any skin to skin PNG if you don't see extensions just a skin if you don't want to use it just rename it to whatever and uh, you will get uh, default <coughs> default skin uh, here's also a template uh, PSD template uh, for skins uh, also we have data directory when where you will find uh, bait car list you can uh, edit here what bait cars uh, are available and their names. And in this file you can edit names for uh, your police cars that will show in uh, request patrol vehicle Me uh, menu. Menu? Menu? I don't know how to, how to correctly say that. Uh, okay. And last but not least, uh, flares. Uh, you can uh, install flares if you don't have uh, GTA policing tools by Sniper 296 already. Uh, here you will find uh, installation uh, guide uh, if you want to use flares instead of uh, lights. Uh, first of all, start Police Helper by pressing X. And if you uh, was playing with it uh, already, you will be familiar with uh, most of the options uh, like uh, check pad ID, request roadblock, request bait car, and we have some new things here. Uh, but the most important for a start are settings. Here you can set everything uh, everything uh, that is uh, available to set in a police helper is here except uh, for uh, force resolution uh, settings but they are only for uh, people that have problems uh, with their ENB uh, yeah I think it's clear uh, what what you find here uh, you can change timeout for uh, traffic events world events you can turn them off uh, you can s you can set uh, keys here everything so that's one and second one is help here you will find everything about uh, Police helper features about check ID, about new fire extinguisher, about uh, events, and even about specific events. So, 
I don't need to talk uh, about everything that is available in new police helper. You will find it here in help menu. menu. Mm. Uh, I will show you only this. Oh, and uh, we now have a notify bar with uh, clock and it's uh, it's working notify bar. Uh, you will see some icons here. You can click on it and expand it. Uh, we don't have any notifications, so so it's empty. Uh, new features uh, are, as I said, fire extinguisher. You draw fire extinguisher by pressing Alt X by default, and um, instructions are on screen. Uh, and collect evidence uh, feature uh, if you want to uh, take uh, weapons uh, with you to police station you can do it uh, you can do it here uh, it only collects uh, weapon evidence uh, for now at least call for services now uh, t calling for tow truck uh, coroner and new uh, new patrol vehicle or mechanic uh, is here also with uh, improved FDLC uh, assistance uh, and uh, improved uh, EMS uh, support. Hopefully they will now kill less people when they arrive. And that's all. Really, uh, you will find everything in help in game. So, so I don't need to talk about uh, every little bit, uh, every little feature here. Uh, be, be on the lookout for uh, world events, uh, be on the lookout for traffic events and stay safe. <laughs>